It's a trunk for your front. It's a front trunk. I want to be clear that I'm not a professional mechanic, so if you do anything from my videos, it's at your own risk. Hello Kona people! Today I'm going to show you how I made my own homemade frunk, which if you don't know is a storage area, similar to a trunk, at the front of your car, which a lot of electric cars actually have. I want to note right up front that I've had a couple people make some baseless claims saying this is a fire hazard. I made a video on a very hot day last summer where I measured temperatures under the hood. Basically though, it really doesn't get hot in there with an electric motor compared to an engine. The engine cover is a piece of plastic which is basically just being replaced by a more practical piece of plastic. And know many other owners who have had theirs installed for over a year without any issues. Also note that I remove mine whenever I go into the dealership, as to avoid any criticism from the service techs who might not know what they're talking about. As my frunk is already built, I'll explain the steps that I took to make it, while showing you footage of what I already have. First off, it's important to know how much space you have and what size tote you can find that will fit in it. Here in Canada, I found this clear hefty tote at Lowe's. It measures 24 inches wide, 17 deep, and 7 high. But if you could actually manage to find one that's 20 inches deep, it'll easily fit. Remove the engine cover and take off the rubber pieces that hold it in place. You're going to need these for the tote. Next up, you'll need to figure out where you're going to drill your holes in the tote. This is where the clear plastic shines compared to the opaque ones, because you'll be able to mark the spots with a sharpie. As you can see with mine, only two contact points actually line up under the tote. Make sure to position it so that you have enough room to remove the lid before making your holes. I purchased a hole saw kit on sale at my local hardware store, but you might just be able to buy a 22mm one on its own if you need. I'd recommend starting with the smaller pilot hole just as a guide before using the bigger one. It'll prevent slipping. Be very careful while drilling this hole, as I applied too much pressure on the first hole and it cracked the plastic. Over the winter, the crack expanded, so I may one day end up making a new one. As you can see, I have a third contact point, which is achieved by a piece of wood I screwed into the bottom of the tote. Once the holes are drilled, carefully squish and turn the rubber pieces through them. All that's left is put it in. Line everything up and apply a little bit of pressure to the rubber pieces and the contact points until they snap in place. That's it! It's bonus tip time! You can fit two jugs of washer fluid where the charging cable was, and by removing the foam inserts, you can fit ice scrapers, squeegees, floor mats, whatever you want down there. Another tip coming right up! Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, it really helps. Tip number two! I hung my foam insert and engine cover in my workshop with twine by simply tying a knot and stapling it into the floor joists.